Spouses have been known to forget an anniversary here and there, but here's a story of a woman who forgot she was even married. She has recovered now from a near stroke, and she shared her story of remembering today. CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff reports. We were home, and my head started hurting tremendously. Tunisia Hall and her husband Raleigh's newlywed bliss recently came to a screeching halt. One month after the Queen's couple's wedding, she was rushed to the emergency room with a brain hemorrhage, an aneurysm that wiped out her recent memory. Hospital staff heard her say the unthinkable to her husband. At the one point, you woke up and you said, uh, are we married? With no memory of her marriage, what year it is, or even her age, her devastated groom took action. I didn't panic, but I had to go into like overdrive. Raleigh plastered the ICU with 1,000 wedding photographs. After weeks in intensive care, slowly Tunisia's memory returned. The pictures were beautiful, so they were nice to look at. It drew questions about, you know, when we were married or are we married. North Shore University Hospital celebrated her recovery with a surprise a three month wedding anniversary cake and a serenade of their song. And I found out. What love by recording artist Ian Holmes. When we came in the, at the first hospital in the ambulance, they said she had like 50 50 chance. Raleigh's convinced it's love and hope that brought his wife back. I've been able to say hope. It happens. Even doctors admit some things cannot be explained with science alone. It's not just medical science that's that's bringing patients back. It's patients' families are so important and key in terms of neurological recovery. They credit the photos, art, and science working hand in hand. I'm grateful to God to still be here. We have the love and the love goes on and that's what matters right now. The couple toasted to their future and sealed their success story with a kiss. In Manhattan, at Long Island, Carolyn Gus off CBS 2 News. After procedures to relieve pressure to her brain, Hall says that she's feeling great and they believe that she has recovered all of her memory. Mm. Nice way to end our newscast today. You bet, and he's feeling pretty good too. Yes.